So I know there are a lot of challenges when it comes to making films. Uh, what kind of challenges were posed uh, in the shoot? What kind of challenges were posed today in this shoot, considering you're in such a small, confined space? Yeah, sure, absolutely. This is, uh, you know, this shoot is really uh, serves multiple purposes. You know, first, the most practical would be just to get a Kickstarter promo to uh, generate interest in the project. But for me, it was really a test. Uh, We've, we've had an opportunity to do a previous test, but not not in a sound stage. Uh, really, the things I'm looking for are the complexities of working with the green screen, considering that the camera is largely confined in that small space. And when you're in there, it's very very claustrophobic. Um, there's a lot of challenges posed with the with where the seats are. You have limitations of where the camera can be. Um, in the context of this particular uh, promo, in the sense that we didn't want to really see the lead actor. It limits where you can put lights, you know, so uh, I was really trying to just get edge light without giving away who, but we have working with the model, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, in the context of the feature, that won't be as big of a problem because we're, we want to see who the actor is, so I can do a heck of a lot more. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and again, just figuring out what your base exposure is, where you're gonna get lights in from, uh, you know, again, we're working on a tight budget, so ideally we'd have a larger sound stage. So there's some complications with just getting this beast in here. Yeah, most definitely. Um, distance to the actual green screen, you know, in a larger space, we'd be able to get a little bit further and okay. control the spill. Okay. Um, again, just working, uh, for me, it was just getting a sense of the reflective properties of the, the leather on the inside. And the way that the uh, the glassware on the inside is set up, the mirrors that are above the actual limo, okay. it, you know, you learn really quickly that to make 90 minutes interesting in that space, you're really going to need a mock-up limo, a secondary breakaway limo where we can take the thing apart and get the camera in places where you might not normally be able to in this practical way. Um, other things I learned, you know, we were working with a zoom lens today just to keep things fast. It was lightweight. We knew that we were doing steady cam, but the truth is, in the context of a feature, I'd probably be working with much faster lenses. Prime lenses, something that would open at least to a 1.3, that would help minimize some of the lighting needs. Because another major thing that I learned today was that this particular limo, I mean, the, the, the degree of the tint in the windows was yeah. easily knocking out maybe three to four stops off of my, all of my lights, which oh, wow. is right. is a challenge, you know, it's a challenge. So you, you learn things like about, is, the, is this camera the right camera to be using for this product? Do we need something that is actually a little bit more sensitive yes. to light? Do we need um, larger units? Do we need uh, faster lenses? Um, these are all things that I'd be kind of uh, really letting, thinking about in the next few weeks um, in the costume. But again, you know, this was fairly simple. We weren't really trying to move the camera all that much. Okay. Uh, that, once we start getting into, diving into the actual storytelling part, when we start breaking down the script down and thinking about where we want the camera to move, it's going to get, it's going to get exponentially more complex. Um, some other things that I learned were like, you know, ideally we would um, put in some practical lighting of our own inside the limo, you know, some really base things that we could control you know, the ambience a little bit more easily. No, this is what you're doing moving forward. Moving forward. These okay. are all the things that you learn from a shoot like this. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so it's 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 a gonna be you would think, right? Shooting in a single location, small space, inside a limousine, yeah. piece of cake, right? Just jump in there with a camera yeah. and you're good to go. But when you start actually trying to execute this and you realize this, that the limitations of that space and the idea that you have to keep that space interesting for 90 minutes, you start to realize, well, we've got we've got a lot of work left to do in order to really be, uh, to, to make the images as powerful as we possibly can. Okay, and you're certainly up to the task. Well, that's why I'm that's why I'm, that's why they pay me the big dollars. For, you know, Excellent. The lack of big dollars. <laughs> you do your best. You know, and honestly, the, as a, as a photographer, you you are looking for the challenge, right? I mean, that, the whole the whole fun of it is the challenge. It's, it's just complex problem and you have to find creative solutions for them. And luckily, we have the beginnings of a good team and that's half the battle, right? It's getting the right, the right soldiers on the playing field and we'll figure it out. All right. Uh, what, do we, what do you got for me, John? Uh, well, a uh, question here uh, that we got from a viewer. <laughs> nice. Viewer oh, question. nice. Uh, how stressful is it to take on a project like this? <laughs> uh, I think stress stopped registering to me a while ago. Um, I do better without safety nets, so I just removed them all, put myself in the eye of the hurricane, and let the chips fall where they, they may. 
Hey, well, that's good. Yeah. It's a good thing. If, if I stop to actually consider the amount of stress and risk that we've undertook, it would cripple me, so I just ignore it. <laughs> uh, all right, what's it, uh, what's it like to work with a green screen? Especially on this kind of a level. Yeah, it, honestly, this is my first time uh, li li working with a sincere green screen. I mean, we've had some fabric that we hung up on a wall and tried to do some crap at home, but we all. Yeah, this is my, my first real time on a green screen, and uh, I, I have to admit, I was concerned that the, the screen wouldn't show through the tinted windows, but the way they lit it and all of that, it, it was great. It, it came through way better than I thought it was going to, and I'm excited to see what Leaf does with it and, and how that works. I'll uh, get my hands on the, the post side and, and see really what goes into actual green screen work. So why is this project important to you? This project is important to me for a lot of reasons. Um, first, and, first and foremost, it really came together as an outlet for the personal prison I made for myself after our first film and being kind of trapped in our apartment on our couch for so long. Uh, I wanted a way to tell those emotions and those, those feelings in a story that was interesting and exciting and watching a guy be trapped in his living room for an hour and a half wouldn't be very interesting. So I, so I would, just move it to a limo. Yeah, yeah. The oh. limo was the great atmosphere. Oh, it provided great. so much symbolism. The the limo can represent luxury, but the outside world is the real world that's so close but so far away. Uh, there's there's so much symbolism that without giving away the the story and, and the end, uh, that it was just ripe for for artistic creativity. Um, rumor has it that you changed the lunch from Chipotle to something else. Why, why, did, why did you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? Uh, we were all fired up to have some Chipotle catering, but when we called Chipotle to order the catering, they decided that their restaurant out here in Valencia in Timbuktu had enough business for the day and they didn't want our $300 buffet oh. order. Okay. So they, they turned down our catering request. They turned it down? Yeah, flat they turned out. it flat out. Yeah. Okay, well there you go. Uh, Chipotle, uh, got to pick up your game. Now, apparently they don't need the money. Apparently they don't. Maybe they don't need to pick up their so game. So we went with some mom and pop restaurants and gave them the money. Nice. Give them to the locals. I like that. I tried it. Shoot it's just a like overall, how did you rate so this whole experience? Overall, I think the day went very well. I always like to think things will go faster. Yeah. You know, I, I so just figured we had three real shots to do, like serious shots to do, and that was it. I was thinking we'd be done before lunch. Yes, movie magic never that fast. But that's why we snap our fingers. That's right. But today went really fun. well, and I don't know if everyone's noticed, but everything is getting taken down mm, around us. Everything, you can't, yeah. Yeah, it takes about three hours to set up and about 30 minutes to tear down. It's going to be a lot of fun getting the limo out. That will be fun. For whoever does it. We'll that. see if we have the live stream still going then, and no. if we do, that'll nope. be exciting. Let's cut the feed then.